You want to go back to cybernetics? Yes, this afternoon is cybernetics. Excuse me. No. She sees cybernetics as the bigger picture. And there's certain well, parts of constructivism that lend themselves toward cybernetics. Probably. I, I, I'm inclined to agree with that. Well, you like my definition that cybernetics is the art of creating and maintaining equilibrium in a world of constraints and possibilities. The, the, how do you create anything in the world of constraints and possibilities? By trying. Either you bump into a wall and it doesn't work, or you get through. I have a beautiful example of how in my life that definition was extremely useful. Well, you see, I've used uh, a metaphor that I still think is a good metaphor of, for cybernetics. And that is how a river makes its bed. How does a river make its bed? There's, not, there's no causal relation involved in that whatsoever. It's that the water increases because of rain or whatever, and it looks for a way out. And eventually it hits all sorts of obstacles, and eventually it finds a place where it can go out. The river knows nothing about the structure or the contents of the environment, but it knows where it can go. It learns where it can go. And where it can go is constrained by the fact that water can't rise above itself. Water always has its own level. So it can only go where there's an opening. So it's constrained by the obstacles of the landscape and by its own incapacity of jumping over rocks, you know? That's... Uh, so it's an internal as well as a relational dynamic or relationship. Yes. I have to tell you the story of how your definition affected my life. <laughs> okay? That's dangerous.